gonna be so bored. Hello, and welcome back to another. I mean, can we handle the epic of Kirby's Yarn? Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn, and we shall find out. Didn't actually plan the intro there because I couldn't help but notice Kirby's so cute rubbing his eye. Oh my gosh. Um, we're back to tenants. And back to the square room. We're back to square one. We're going to Zeke. We're going to Zeke. And it's actually going to be just a one episode tenant because there aren't too, too many, uh, levels to do with these tenants. There are going to be a lot in Dreamland. And then we'll actually finish up the tenants. We're, we're actually coming close to the end of the game, just like in Super Mario Galaxy. And I won't know because I record these about, like, two weeks in advance. But this is going to finish before, uh, oh right, we're finding Zeke, before, um, before Super Mario Galaxy, but I don't, I won't know when, like, it could be right now, Super Mario Galaxy could be done, and when that happens, of course, five days a week of Prairie Zippy Yarn, as if two wasn't enough, <laughs> okay, I need one of these, did <laughs> just fall from the sky, whoa, why are they all falling from the sky, what's going on? Snipe, snipe, snipe. I can do it. Ugh. Oh! They, they've tricked me. Okay, I think Zeke is just gonna infinitely respawn here, so I can just... Boom. I was gonna try to snipe him from, from down there, but it didn't happen. Oh, there's one down there that looks so cool. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do do the cute voice. The, uh, I have, like, a big yarn voice. Got it. Oh, that was all of them? That was a disappointment. I was gonna looking forward to more weight puzzles. Oh well, that was all. And no more weight puzzles. Wow, I guess that, that was the only Zeke level in this world. Maybe not. You found us all. I'm reading text. And we got the I'm gonna say city fabric. Future city fabric. That doesn't look futuristic at all. It just looks 2D. Gosh. Yeah, that was the only one we have to do. See, there aren't a lot of them in Spaceland. At least for Zeke. So, that's good. We can move on to... Beatrix. And get beads. Because that's what Beatrix does. Look at your, your stylish hair and your musical humming. Okay, anyways. Beatrix. Still away. Getting me. This is when I was talking about two episodes ago when we did that level. We actually had to take advantage of the meteors to get lots of beads. 320 beads in 40 seconds. Actually, pretty hard. Wait, maybe this isn't the meteor one. Maybe this is the uh, make sure you chain combos on the enemies. No, this is the meteor one. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, I didn't even try to press the down button. That was literally my thumb was too big for the button. Well, not really too big, because my I don't have an abnormally large thumb, but you get the point, hopefully. So now it's just a matter of running left and right to get all the bees that we can, and eventually, oh, just going right. Oh yeah, look at all those bees. I'm going to get this in no time. Actually, not no time enough. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I totally didn't make it. How did I not make it? I got all the beads that I could. Oh no! So this is where in the Beatrix levels it starts getting hard. And you have to have precision timing, precision, fastness, quickness, agility, whatever you want to call it. And you just have to run, 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 not mess up. I actually under underestimated this level. So right away we're just gonna go. No, no awesome dodging with these these meteor guys. Instead we're gonna get hit. Hooray! Oh, that's not worth it up there. It's it. It's actually incredibly worth it because that's where we have to go. So let's do it. Okay, we have to get all the beads we can. Come on, we can do this. You want to stay kind of in the middle so that the beads don't fall in places where you can't actually get. That would be tragic because they just did. Okay, I'm probably not gonna get this. I'm guessing. Oh, maybe. Yes, I actually did. Wow, I collected 100, 320 beads. But that's actually a pretty hard one, so don't underestimate it like I did. Uh, there's a new bee collecting stage. Let's go. Indeed. 
So I don't know how many BJX has, but there can't be too many, right? I can fit into one episode, right? If not, because I don't really, like, plan before doing the 10 levels, like, oh, I'm gonna look it up on the wiki. There's six 10 levels. Let's put it into one episode. But I'm afraid that if I, I go, hmm, well, it's been 15 minutes, let's call it an episode. And the next episode, there's, like, two 10 levels. I have to stall you guys again. And I cannot stall again. Oh, this is actually pretty hard. We have to get these quickly. These guys are gonna wa run away as soon as they see us. So we just have to kill them and not look back. Oh, we looked back. No, we didn't. Ha! Ah. No, ha, ha! But we, it's all a matter of getting the beads now. And we got them. First try. Actually, usually don't get them on the first try. And we don't turn into a minnow there, because I guess the water is just under our forehead. Yeah, there's no, actually another bee collecting stage. So I think this is... I'm already predicting, but I think this is going to be a long episode. Just because I'm going to plan to do it. All the uh, neighbors in one episode. We got the spooky woods fabric. Ooh. Then again, Beatrix does have the most levels out of any uh, character. And I believe Buster has the least. So it it evens up. And we already have like, what, 25 with Beatrix? We are racking Oh, look! The mushroom just sprouted as I got here. So 250 beats in 30 seconds. Uh, this is actually a pretty precision timing. You want to get that. And then get that. Go back down again. And look, it's Prince Fluff. He looks so angry. Well, he did, but then I took away his face. So it kind of doesn't look like anything. Because his face is gone. So when you, when you see a straight lines of beads like that, you just want to go down and not wait. Because waiting takes a long time. And I actually got this this time. With little effort. Awesome. You have to get every single bead, though. It's not one of those run and get as many as you can. Because you can't actually run. We're just bouncing. And yet another recollecting stage. No, I'm not gonna act like, oh, this game is so evil, making me do bee collecting stages. When will they ever stop? Because they are actually really fun. And helpful. Yeah. The bitter cocoa. That doesn't look like cocoa at all. It looks like, looks like a, a, I don't know, a tea of circles. And the fountain garden. So for some reason, we're going back to the fountain gardens. Right? Are we? Did, I might have just like looped back to the last. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we're gonna do it. Doesn't look too hard. But then again, what do I know? So of course we have to get every single beat and follow the path as well as we can. Oh, that messed me up. I'm not gonna get it. Oh, I got it. I got the doing beads. Yeah, for some reason he was back in. Fountain Gardens, which threw me for a loop. That was actually a pretty hard level, so I guess it fits in with the the continuity. That didn't sound British at all. I can't do a British accent for for my life. It's just not something I can do. Oh, it's a brick fabric. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I finally guessed one. The brick fabric. I was thinking, you know, it's gonna be the red brick or the the dust brick or the. Wispy's Force, we can't do that. Hooray! So it looks like I'm I'm gonna fit this into one episode, so And I know I probably shouldn't be talking about my my video planning in the video. Not very professional, but I'm not prefer well I'm kind of well I did it. What are you gonna do? Sue me? That would be the American way these days. If you don't like something, you just sue the government. What? Why am I talking about government? Two town. There we go. And we're gonna carry Beatrix, and it's gonna be annoying. Not Beatrix, but whoever this this fool is. This is actually a really easy one because it gives us a whole minute. But there's this evil thing, and it will take carry away if we don't kill it. Which is why I'm gonna. Oh, actually, th there's a spawner there, isn't it? Oh, don't don't do that. Oh wait, that's gonna do that, isn't it? Not if I do that. Oh. Can Beatrix get hurt? No, she can't get hurt. Okay, so I have, to, I have to do this awesomely. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, I got hurt. No matter. No matter. Oh, it's a matter. Oh, well, I did it. The matters are not matters. What am I saying? 
And if you did it, there's it's kind of a, more of a puzzle than skill, but you have to throw Beatrix over, then go under, get Beatrix, kill the buzzy thing. Evil buzzy thing. Um, now that's totally so much talking crappy. I have more pointless text. And what in the world is that? Famicom. <laughs> Why would you ever use that in your house? Like, they give you so many fabrics, and you're, you're not gonna use, like, 95% of them, because you can only use so many fabrics. I mean, you, there's a floor fabric, a wall fabric, and then you can use a fabric for each of your 24 pieces of furniture, but that's basically it. Basically. So, we have to get carried to the spot, and it looks like uh, they are going back to these earlier levels to, to make them harder, because they didn't think Space Lane was gimmicky enough, and that's good. Not that these levels are gimmicky at all, but I guess there's, there's more content for difficulty. I guess. Well, there are dandans. That is pretty difficult. Nah. Yeah. Especially when their beams like go all up in your, in your. I don't know what they go all up in. They go all up in something, and it's not fun. Oh, I didn't know you could grab those. Actually, I did, but I forgot. Whatever. Luckily that we can. Oh, I thought I just made Gary explode. No. Oh. Oh. Use your head as a platform. No. No. Okay, I better make this. Come on, come on. Cloud, come on. I'm making you go faster by encouraging you with body motions. Okay. You can do this. I believe. No, I don't. We're not going to do this. Totally not going to do this. There's no hope. I should just commit suicide. Oh, wow, we actually made it. <laughs> no, n never mind that suicide statement. Now we can actually get these beads. Hooray. I don't know why they put them in here. I thought, oh, this all is easy. Let's put beads in there. So I got them. And thus, here I stand. And still with like 10 seconds to spare. And the dreamy music is over. Replaced by the Kirby jingle, which we all know and love. And... I think that's all for Beatrix. And that is going to be the... I don't know, pixel, blue fabric, blue ocean, oh, blue dot. Those were totally pixels, not dots. Actually, they were circular, so I guess, I guess they were dots, but they were not all blue, so, eh, eh, and eh. And, of course, we have to clear question mark, question mark, question mark to play that. And I gotta say, next episode, when we do Wispy's Woods, that's a pretty darn fun level. Pretty f darn fun world, not level. And, Buster. And I think actually we have enough stuff to unlock. Dun 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 dun. The last tenant. Bum bum. Mysterious UFO. Defeat four enemies in 15 seconds. I can totally do that, man. What's talking about? Man. Okay, I don't know why I said man like that. But. Four enemies in 15 seconds. Of course, with this gimmick, I think it's actually more getting to a place to find the four enemies. Yep, it is. Oh, totally messed up. Oh, I made it! Yeah, so now we just have to kill them. And easily, we can just use that, and it'll kill all three of them automatically. Oh, not that one! Oh, you're... Did I not make it? Because that guy hit me, and I lost five seconds? That is not cool. That... No, that's the opposite of cool, which is actually hot, but that's not cool. Anyways, we'll, we'll do it again. I don't think you actually need to grab onto the ceiling. You just need to, uh, hang tight with your parachute. And then it'll all be good. It'll all be... Koshé. I don't know what Koshé means. It sounds awesome. And as always, want to do the, uh, the running... Yeah. Ugh, come on. No! Did I kill you? Oh, I killed you. Well, I'm killing myself. Boom. But you want to do the, uh, the running into the parachute, or else they're gonna go... So slowly that you're not even gonna make it. So third time's a charm. Hopefully. Two, one, double tap. It's actually like a delay on opening your parachute for whatever reason, but it doesn't matter. We get here every time. Oh, you better! Oh, you better! Oh, you did. Ha! You all died! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Slow death into the abyss. But it doesn't matter because it counts my beads. 
before, I mean, right when the, uh, little counter goes. The jingle, that's the word, wow, I was just, I was just thinking intensely in my mind for five seconds. UFO sighting fabric? Didn't even try to guess. I would have not guessed UFO sighting, because it's a UFO, not a sign of a UFO. I mean, gosh. Oh, there's actually more than uh, 10 busters, so I'm guessing there's 15, because I, if I remember correctly, Buster has the least amount of, um, you know, things. Such description. 30 enemies, one minute, let's go. Oh, hello, random guy. You fell from the sky. I feel like I'm rapping all of a sudden, even though I'm not. I just rapping. <laughs> Apparently, with this modern era, rapping is really rhyming. Rhyming is rap. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and get your body. But these enemies do keep responding. The main thing you wanna make sure is that you don't get hit by the uh, meteors from above, because that will just mess you up. And you also wanna make sure you grab their spears and swords and not the other things that they have. Ha! Huh, he fell from the sky. Oh! I got hit. This is bad. Come on, respawn. Faster. Okay, I think I have this. I might have this. Not too sure, actually. Die! Oh, I might not have this, actually. Come on. We can ha we can have it. I'm just gonna kill them all. I suppose I can. Okay. <laughs> that hurt my throat. If we had not gotten hit by the meteor, we would have made it. So, more incentive not to get hit by meteors. Ain't that right? Yes, we know. 30 enemies in one minute. Actually, seems kind of easy when you think about it. But you want to make sure that you do grab their, their uh, swords, and if you do get stuck in the loop where you're just pressing the, the one button, but you actually grab them, then start over. Oh, look! There's, there's, there's the easy button, where are staples. We can do this, and they'll all turn into weeds, so we won't need to worry about their, their hooliganry. Oh, I'm stuck in the loop that I was talking about. Oh, did you just hit me, sir? There is no time for, for the pain of me. I have to kill you all. You are gonna die now. Well, you were gonna die before, but you're all, yeah. <laughs> you're dead, either way. Okay, well, to die, I hope you understand. Oh, they don't understand at all. Come on, just die. Oh, I, I totally got this. Totally, yeah. I, I was just guessing that I was gonna get hit right when I said I totally got this. Even though there's only like one second left. But we got it. And I think that's all for the busters right now. So if I, my theory is correct, there's one buster in Dreamland. And we get the Meta Knight fabric because he gives us boss fabrics. Slash enemy fabrics. So actually, this is gonna be split into two episodes because I forgot that we have another tenant. From another mother. No, we have apartment number 302. And we're going to clear this apartment out right now. And okay, good, we have all the stuff now. All the stuffs. So I'm gonna put my, my glitchy Wiimote at the Wii. I think it's actually my sensor bar, not my Wiimote, because all my Wiimotes do this thing where they just spaz out, so it's definitely not the actual... the, the moat. If you will. So, most of these things are from uh, the uh, snow land. But some of them are from previous lands, of course. The Nickcap sofa, and finally, the Space TV. Yeah, so it's one from each. This guy has some some varying style. Well, how is everything progressing? I mean, progressing here. I'm not British at all. Lord Kirby, are you finished? Just slide over here. Oh my, this is such a... <laughs> it's a girl, not a man. Oh my, it's such a beautiful decorated room. My name is Mara, and I'll take it. She has actually seemed sophisticated, and I gave her a totally unsophisticated voice. Patch Castle, so I am going to do Mara in the next episode. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and next time... Sorry, until next time. Is Mara more epic than Kirby's Yarn? I don't really have 
anything for these mini game levels. They're just mini game after mini game. Nevertheless, final next time. See you guys. Duh! As I watch Space TV. No. Nope.